Hello everyone and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. In this video we're going to be going over data types. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So first data type is an integer. So we can call this my var again and this is any whole number. So whatever number you want uh, just as long as it doesn't have a decimal. Once it has a decimal you're gonna get an error saying that it's a double. So you actually have three different types of integers. Um, either an int 16, uh, 32, or 64. And these are refer in reference to the size of the integer. So um, if you're going to have a very long integer, it'd be int 64, medium, int 32, and then small, int 16. But um, you can just say int and that automatically um, throws it to a 32 bit integer so but of course we're getting error an error because we have a decimal so the most commonly used data type for a decimal is the double now double and as you can see everything here works fine we don't need to do anything it's just any um, any decimal right here we can put double but there's also two other types as well so you can use float but if you're going to use float you would need to add that F keyword and then decimal you would need or excuse me not keyword uh, just a letter at the end and then M is what you'd use for decimal as well so when would you use these so essentially a decimal is what you'd use in like a financial app because it's very high accuracy um, however while double and float have issues uh, sometimes with uh, rounding there they they have potential rounding issues uh, that would not make um, doing very intense math um, ideal so but when would you use a double? Essentially, a double is the most used um, data type for um, any of the decimals. So it's it's definitely the most common. You don't have to necessarily do anything, and it's uh, it's it's pretty straightforward to use. Um, now, when when would you use a float? A float is essentially for everything else. And to be honest with you, I don't see float used that often in C sharp. Um, that's just kind of like the outlier. Um, it's mainly double and if you really need you'd use decimal. Um, I do see float sometimes however um, for some that might be a personal preference but anyways um, if you want to know more about float definitely um, take a look and let me know in the comments about anything more you find on float. However professionally I have used double and when needed decimal but float um, not as much anyways so let's jump in now to uh, characters so you can use the char keyword and we can have one character and that's essentially it though so we can't actually have these double quotes we need these single quotes to represent one character. Um, and then of course when we add two characters it'll give us an error saying represents essentially too many characters in character literal needs to be one character. Um, but if we want to add multiple characters then we can simply add this string keyword. And then we're good to go. But we would need to add these double quotes to represent a string. And there you go. All right, so the next data type would be Boolean. Or you could just say bool. So bool is essentially a Boolean um, value and it essentially is true or false. So my bool equals true 
or my bool equals one greater than two. All right, and then let's print out the value of my bool. And if we run that, it will actually give us a Boolean value of false. All right. So that is essentially a Boolean. So whether it's something is true or false, um, that is what we can use Boolean for. And they're used uh, quite often as well. So get comfortable using a Boolean. And those are essentially the main data types in C Sharp. Um, of course, there are more. There, there are a lot of different data types. And we'll go over more um, later on. However, in order to get started, these are the main data types you're going to see in, um, in C Sharp, especially at first. And these are the main ones you need to get started. There are, of course, a lot more, like um, like an object and array list observables etc uh, but we'll be going into those um, in later videos um, I hope you enjoyed this one and I look forward to seeing you in the next one